Hey, good Sunday morning, everyone. Thought I'd do a, hopefully, relatively short video about our winter storm that's on the way. This is coming. It's not going to miss. Everyone's going to see some snow. It's just a matter of how much, what the impacts will be in your, uh, in your travels and in, in your neighborhood. And uh, we'll talk about all of that in this video. Now, uh, we're going to put our official numbers in the forecast, the accumulation forecast, uh, this afternoon into this evening. Candace will have that on 21 News at 6. I'm going to go into the office for a little while and uh, help her prepare that. And we'll kind of tag team it a little bit uh, early on this afternoon and this evening. Uh, but uh, official numbers are coming later today. But this video will give you kind of a guideline as to what to expect. Uh, this is all going to get underway very late in the day tomorrow. Today, no problems. It's cold. Uh, we've got a few flurries around. A lot of clouds around as well. There can be some sunny breaks uh, later on this afternoon and this evening. Quick hitter little uh, snow event down in parts of the Carolinas, pretty non-impactful down there. Here's our storm. This is uh, what's starting to take shape up, up across the northern plains. This is going to come east, and it's going to kind of do a transition from an Ohio Valley storm over to an east coast storm, become a huge nor'easter, even blizzard conditions, a possibility for parts of coastal New England, uh, perhaps down into the mid-Atlantic region as well. Now, we're not expecting a blizzard here. But what we are expecting is a you know, pretty, pretty sizable winter storm, uh, one of the bigger ones we've had during this uh, relatively easy uh, winter season. So let's uh, talk about the timing of things a little bit here. I'm going to show you one of our models. This is the NAM model. Uh, no problems getting to work in school tomorrow morning on a Monday morning. Uh, you'll be doing just fine. The precipitation timing, uh, this looks like it's going to come in pretty late on Monday, towards sunset even. Here's 4 o'clock. Uh, our model showing a little precipitation pushing in from the west. This will be, even if it tries to, to snow and even rain just a little bit uh, late in the day on Monday, uh, your best chance of seeing a few raindrops at the onset will be south of Route 30. But it'll be pretty non-impactful at first. I'm not expecting a lot of problems for the uh, late afternoon commute. Uh, towards sunset, here's uh, 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. This is when the more impactful snow will get underway and it'll continue to intensify as we go into our Monday night. So here's midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, uh, snowing at a pretty good clip, uh, and then the snow will continue into uh, Tuesday morning. Now, the first wave of this snow will be fairly wet snow, and what I'm expecting to be on the ground by daybreak on Tuesday is a couple or a few inches of wet snow. Uh, and with temperatures Monday night not all that cold, it'll be in the upper 20s to around 30, uh, and it's March. It'll have to snow pretty hard in order for the main roads to get slick. They'll, of course, be treated, and with the, those kinds of temperatures, it'll have to snow pretty hard for, for there to be a lot of problems on the main roads. Now, certainly, uh, non-main roads and anything untreated can get pretty slick Monday night, Tuesday morning. But again, by Tuesday morning, Daybreak, expecting maybe one to four inches worth of wet snow to be on the ground. And so I would expect a lot of school adjustments Tuesday morning. This is a well-advertised event. A lot of schools will probably adjust Monday evening for Tuesday. Uh, so that's the first part of this storm. Then as we go into late Tuesday, into Tuesday night, our main storm is over on the East Coast. And this is going to start to transition into more of a lake effect event particularly by very late Tuesday into Tuesday night and even into parts of Wednesday as well. In fact, let me switch models on you here. Uh, this is the GFS on Wednesday. Our main storm is far away at this point, but we'll get some lake enhancements, some lake effect going on. It's going to be blustery. It's going to be cold. And the snow that falls late Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday will be much fluffier and it'll accumulate much more efficiently. It's going to be colder. Uh, so this is the kind of you know, a situation where we could have some localized whiteouts and it'll be a little more uh, variable, the conditions on Wednesday as compared to Tuesday when everyone's going to see snow. It's going to be fairly consistent across our viewing area. Everyone's kind of in the same boat. By Tuesday night and Wednesday, as this becomes more lake effect, conditions can change rapidly over the course of just a few miles. Uh, so Wednesday is going to be no fun in some places. In other places, there'll be long intervals where you don't see much snow. Now, as far as uh, how much, uh, again, the much higher amounts will be to our east. A uh, foot or more, maybe New York City up to Boston, even down to D.C., Philadelphia, uh, quite a bit. Now, you'll notice that there is a relative minimum in our amounts here uh, across southeast Ohio, southern Ohio, into West Virginia, and even into southwest PA as well. I think uh, this forecast is still in flux a little bit. This, these, these amounts are not... 
you know, etched into cement at this point. Here's what the National Weather Service has through Tuesday evening, not counting what will happen Tuesday night and Wednesday. Uh, they have a general, by Tuesday evening, 3 to 8 inches, lower end in the south, higher end in the north, and I think there will be a gradation. Uh, you know, you're going to see us put out ranges in our forecast, and it will be a kind of a north to south gradation. Uh, the, part of the reason for that is, as this transitions into more of a lake effect event, yeah, your higher amounts are going to be the farther north you are, uh, even though everyone's kind of in a similar boat Monday night through Tuesday afternoon. I think a storm total range, you know, we're talking about a range, a storm total of somewhere in the ballpark of, of 4 to 10 inches is pretty likely. You know, those aren't the final numbers, but it'll be something in that range. Your best chance of seeing the higher end will be in the north because of the lake effect. Best chance of seeing the lower end will be in the south. I think someone, some places in the far northern reaches of Trumbull and Mercer can see a foot by the end of the day Wednesday uh, because, again, more lake effect up there. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, expect a lot of impacts on the roads on Monday night into Tuesday, and even into Tuesday night and Wednesday, even though conditions will be more variable, expect some impacts. Uh, this is going to be a blowing and drifting situation on Wednesday uh, with, with the wind, the fluffier nature of the snow. It's going to be a nasty day on Wednesday with wind chills probably not much better than the single digits and teens. So again, official forecast, uh, we'll make a pretty map and everything. It'll come out this afternoon and this evening. Of course, we'll have you covered on social media and on TV as well. Andrew DiPaolo is in on WFMJ Weekend today or right now. And Candace Monticelli will be in at 6 and 11 tonight. And again, I'll be in... Uh, in the office for a couple of hours this afternoon, kind of uh, getting things uh, ramped up as we get set for a late season winter storm.